Il est grand temps pour nous de cimenter tous les efforts que nous avons fournis pour la paix par le développement économique et l'intégration régionale. Et pour cela, nous voulons associer tous les investisseurs de la région des Grands Lacs, de l'Afrique et du monde. Et ce sera un grand événement. Bringing together political and business leaders, this conference can be a catalyst for regional cooperation, significantly benefit the economic landscape of the Great Lakes, and provide major regional and profitable investment opportunities. The African continent represents a large market for international trade, given the population, given the market size, given the opportunities and resources. The returns investors get from, uh, from investments in Africa uh, cannot be compared from returns that they get elsewhere on the other continents. In my view, DRC is as rich as Brazil. Brazil is one of the top 10 economies in the world today. Why should, you know, this whole region not be in the top 10 as well? Depuis peu, c'est vrai que depuis peu, la région de, de Grand Lac est intéressée par les investisseurs du secteur pétrolier. Il n'y a pas peu, il n'y a pas très longtemps, nous avons découvert que le parc Virunga, il n'y a que du pétrole. Dans le lac Queen Elizabeth, qui est partagé par euh, l'Ouganda et le Congo, il y a beaucoup de pétrole dedans. Et même dans le lac Tanganyika. Donc, euh, et juste à côté ici, à côté de là où nous sommes assis dans le lac Kivu, il y a beaucoup de gaz méthane. What investors look for, they look first and above all at the rule of law. They need to have the environment where they feel safe uh, to place their investments. Accountability, transparency, these are all important. And governments need to create that environment. We in the private sector also need to have good corporate governance. We need to pay attention to the environment. We need to pay attention to the planet. Business, after all, of course, is all about profit, but it's also about the planet and also about people. At the World Bank Group, we ourselves are investing in the region. Since July of 2011, we've committed nearly $2 billion in private sector projects across 11 countries. With the right support and investment, the Great Lakes region will be able to fulfill its tremendous potential. We're determined to work with African governments and the private sector to build a new era of peace, stability, and prosperity. At the moment, when you see the potential on the resources we have, especially in Hydro, in DRC, Rwanda, even Burundi, the potential is very huge. So I think now the time is good to tap into those resources and uh, it will be done if the countries are together and if the projects are developed as countries. On ne peut pas développer l'industrie minière tant qu'il y a encore des challenges sur le plan des infrastructures et de l'énergie électrique. C'est pourquoi il faut que la région de Grand Lac investisse beaucoup d'efforts dans des projets intégrateurs qui sont liés à l'augmentation et à l'amélioration de l'énergie électrique et à la réhabilitation des infrastructures qui font souvent partie, qui sont aussi, qui font partie de, la, de certaines routes transafricaines. Certainly for me, one of the things that I would like to see happen is, is, is a lot more integration in the financial sector. Then you can begin to see capital you know, moving freely across the region, taking advantage of opportunities that are present, uh, taking advantage of the wider East and Central Africa population that is available to consume the goods and services that are, that are under production. The more we get to that, the more we can begin to treat and see the region as, as a domestic market and remove the barriers of movement of people and goods in the region, then my sense is that we will actually begin to see that development happening a lot quicker. The new government wants to do business. They want to facilitate trade. When you address NTBs, you cannot address alone as, as, as private sector. You really need to work with the government. The government, they are the people that should facilitate the private sector. The government, they are the responsible for removing some of these barriers. We have plans. There are projects uh, which are underway for 
improvement of those border posts and uh, of course we are constructing them as one-stop border posts. In that it means that uh, trucks stop only at once. If it is import traffic for Rwanda, they stop in Rwanda. If it is export traffic towards Tanzania, then they will stop in Tanzania only and not in Rwanda. The regional and international business community can promote exciting new investment opportunities and also partner with others to ensure that long-term prosperity can benefit the women, men and young people of the region and lead to sustainable peace. The United Nations strongly supports the peace, security and cooperation framework for the Democratic Republic of the Congo and the region. We are working closely with our partners, including the African Union, the International Conference on the Great Lakes region, and the Southern African Development Community to realize the framework's potential. Now is the time to pave the way for lasting peace and inclusive development in the Great Lakes region of Africa. The future of the Great Lakes region is very bright. Um, is a time for private sector for not only to see this region as the business place for them but also impact the, the community uh, in that region. Africa is full of promise. The time to harness our potential is now by strategically positioning ourselves as global influencers. The potential contained within the agriculture sector in the Great Lakes region is immense. We're already seeing tangible results from the fruits of technological innovations which have translated to the production of quality outputs and which also empower women and youth. African and international companies are operating successfully in this region. Our activities are fostering shared prosperity and contributing to peace. I encourage more investors to join us.